Hello chess lovers, Soren here and in this video I want to share with you a very exciting attacking game played by neural network based chess engine Lila Chess Zero. This game is from 2020 Top Chess Engine Championship Finals where Lila's opponent is a beast named Stockfish. As you know both are free and open source chess engines and now without further ado let's get started with the game. So Lila was playing with the white pieces and opened up with English opening c4, e6 by Stockfish, knight c3, c5, knight f3, knight f6 with the symmetrical English g3, knight c6, bishop g2, queen b6. Other popular alternatives are d5 or bishop e7, but Stockfish proceeds with queen b6 and e4. Of course, white can also castle kingside. That's also popular, but in our game we have e4, d6, rook b1. In some cases, white will later try to go for b4 advancement. Bishop e7, white castled kingside, a6, d3, black castled kingside, h3, knight d7, bishop e3, knight d e5, knight e1. White is preparing f4 while Black is putting his knights on active squares. Here comes knight d4, which was made with b4, relying on the vulnerability of the knight. Now if c takes b4, then black can face some problems. White can play knight c2, and if move like knight a c6, then knight takes d4, followed by knight a4, and then rook takes b4. That's why after b4, we see queen c7, a4. And after bishop f6, this time we have f4. This is crazy, guys. Lila is definitely enjoying a pawn push, right? Knight e6, b takes c5, d takes c5, and this time we have e5. Harassing this bishop and opening up the light squared bishop's diagonal. Bishop e7, king h2, we first see a prophylactic move. Rook b8, knight f3. So yeah, it's high time to get rid of that active knight, rook d8. White has a backward pawn on d3, which will now get targeted by black pieces, but it turns out that Lila has calculated everything and will neutralize all possible threats successfully. Meanwhile, we have b6, strengthening the pawn on c5, and after knight e4, black played knight b4, harassing the pawn on d3 further. Bishop d2. And now Blake has a choice of winning the pawn, but that can give white great attacking chances. Of course, rook takes d3 is losing on the spot because of this bishop takes b4, followed by queen takes d3. But what if, for example, knight takes d3? Then white can play bishop c3. And now if bishop b7, then white can proceed with the attack, f5. White can sacrifice the second pawn as well after which f6 is coming and white is getting a very dangerous attack. Black king looks vulnerable, that's why after bishop d2 Stockfish played solidly and played queen d3. But luckily white bishop is just in time and we have bishop takes b4. c takes b4 and d4. White is making use of the fact that the pawn is untouchable because black queen can get trapped on the spot. That's why after d4, Black finally developed his queenside bishop, and here comes rook b d1. Bishop c6, Black wants to win this pawn with a bishop. Queen takes a4 can be met with f5, whoops, or even d5 is something which is worth of taking into consideration. That's why we see bishop c6. The idea is that now after rook d2, once Black is winning the pawn on a4 with a bishop, is also taking under control this d1 squared, not allowing white to double up his rooks. And yes, of course, the bishop on a4 is very active. Rook a1, rook c8, d5, bishop b3. All the time black is looking for targets. Bishop a4, rook b1, a5, h4. Black has a nice bishop paired, two passed pawns on the queen side, but to be honest, I really like white central pawns, especially after queen e8 once white pawn appears on d6, this is simply 
demoralizing you know black's position and here comes g4 bishop c6 can you make use of your queenside pawns buddy that's not so easy because white pawns are hurrying towards black king g5 look at this insanity guys queen f8 rook f1 b5 I'm trying to create a counterplay on the queen side but who cares we have four marvelous pawns on the fifth rank and also a beast on d6 right i really like this position guys he takes f5 rook takes f5 bishop d7 and the powerful move by lila queen f1 as you know lila is an expert in making exchange sacrifices like petrosian you know and it goes for it guys and now once black loses his light squared bishop uh, white bishop will become a huge menace for black we have a nice target on f7 right that's why black decided to get rid of this rook as soon as possible by the way white is sacrificing not only the rook but also this pawn on c4 right we are not even paying attention what's going on on the queen side because this is something guys this is something whatever happens on the king side is something d7 white is not only attacking the rook also is freeing the d6 square for the knight and there it goes white is not only attacking the rook but also is targeting this pawn rook takes d6 black is giving up the rook he takes d6 bishop b6 king h3 at some point white wants to play bishop d5 and is not allowing queen takes d6 with a check queen g8 all black can do is to defend and then after bishop d5 we have rook f5 and guys just take a look at this miserable position <laughs> what is this guys what's happening <laughs> g6 no way out now if f takes g6 then queen e4 simply and yeah you are losing your queen body and the game as well black played h6 and there comes g takes f7 this is a total destruction a massacre queen g6 now if queen takes g6 then after h takes g6 and then if you play a move like c3 for example white can play rook e2 followed by rook e8 the rook is penetrating the eighth rank and is finishing up black a similar scenario we're going to see in our game in our game after queen g6 we see b3 and the queen's got exchanged only after rook e2 by the way at this point already the engine shows checkmate in six moves there it goes rook e2 and we see the exchange of queens bishop c5 a desperate desperate attempt checkmate will now follow very quickly and there it goes finally the d pawn is getting promoted to a queen b2 where are you hurrying buddy your king is in danger and it's getting checkmated there it goes on move 55 lila announced a checkmate a very very impressive game where we saw total pressing and a marvelous exchange sacrifice well in the end let's also solve a chess puzzle where the task is to find the winning line for white it's white to move and i will wait for your answer in the comment section thanks for watching here are more suggestions for you feel free to check them out as well i will see you in my next video take care